Today, the Duke Medical Center hosted a CPR training blitz for employees, and a Duke professor was on hand to explain just how crucial it is. WNCN's Carly Griffith has more. Professor George Grody tells a room full of Duke faculty and staff how several students trained in CPR saved his life. It happened one night in September during a student organization meeting. I slumped over and uh, being a little bit sarcastic, the students said, well, this is how Grody is showing us that he's bored with the meeting. He's acting like he's fallen asleep. After Grody stopped moving, students quickly realized it wasn't a joke. Some students came out of the classroom yelling, um, does anyone here know CPR? Um, so we immediately like ran over to them. Pre-med students Kevin Labagnara and Ratika Patil are Duke EMTs. We did compressions for uh, a good few minutes before um, the other agencies showed up. Grody was taken to the hospital after a quintuple bypass, a defibrillator implant, and several weeks in recovery. He's in good health and preaching the importance of CPR. Being able to work with folks and help them uh, develop the skill so that they can save people is really important. La Bignara and Batil say having the skills to help is life changing. Great experience. Um, honestly, like wanting to be a doctor just kind of reinforced it for me. Incredibly rewarding to be able to use your skills and like actually help people. At Duke University, Carly Griffith, WNCN News. The American Heart Association says performing CPR on a person in cardiac arrest can double, even triple their chances of survival. If you'd like to learn CPR, we have the information right now at WNCN.com. A landmark 